Okay, so now we are uh, in our fourth section of uh, movers, so I'm going to save that again, save document as movers 4. Okay, and just to, just to reiterate, uh, what we have here is uh, we're passing out a time list. Each of these lists represent one moment in time. Uh, and each, so for each moment in time, each of these represents the position of one of our movers. So let's put this up there. Okay, so now we want we want access to uh, the position of the movers for one moment in time. And the way we do that is we do tree statistics. So we do that. I'm going to make another panel. Pass that in. And here we use our timer over here. Put this down there. Okay, and so now we pass this in as our, our list. So let's see what we have over here. And I'm going to just make a little slider over here so we don't uh, need to rely on that. Okay, so we have... So that gives us access to our path. And so what we want is our branch. Uh, if I use any of the language incorrectly here, please, uh, please send me a note. Uh, so here's the path that we want, and we want it from a tree. And we want the tree right over here. Okay, so we should be getting four points, and we're not. Let's try. Well, it's just time zero. Well, no. Point. Okay, so we have four points. Uh, this is our target over here. If you uh, <laughs> Remember, clear back to what we're trying to do is we're trying to we're creating a, a list of movers that move to the target. So that's our target. I'm going to throw a sphere around that just so we know. And we're going to. Okay, so let's try it now. If we move through our item, yeah, so our movers are moving. So let's save this and uh, start the next video and then we'll have them flying all over the place.